There's no solution and no way out. Babylon go down without a doubt. The Israelites, they will rise up and a shout. Righteousness is what we are about. There's no solution and no way out. Babylon go down without a doubt. Say the Israelites, they rise up and a shout. Righteousness is what we are about. Too much blood shed in the street. People killing people to fulfill their greed. In the last days, man is full of jealousy. The new world order tried to silence me. Gospel proclaimed, yes, the truth will sustain. His real life mission to vindicate your name. A weapon formed against us shall prosper. Better take heed, the world is headed for disaster. No solution and no way out. Babylon go down without a doubt. Send the Israelite. Alrighty, let's let's give you a run through of my beginner's backyard aquaponics IBC system. This is pretty much it. Pretty much completed. Ready to go. Um, let me just run you through all the details. This here's the sump tank. It's a let's see here, 18 gallon. Um, it seems to be working just fine. It fills up and empties as the uh, media bed fills up and empties and obviously the, the main fish tank fills up and empties. Water pressure and all that and effect, it affects it. Basically inside of here is a filter, just a, basically a pond filter. Um, I got this thing filtering quite a few times here. So inside of here is the pump. It's about 100 gallon an hour. Seems to be working just fine. Wish it was a little quicker, but it's, it's fine. It fills up and empties about every hour. Or at least it was before I put the media in. I'll have to test it when the media is in. This is the first run with media, or rocks. And uh, so yeah, basically, if you notice here, it's flowing in from the swirl filter. I got a swirl filter here just so all the fish poop and all the ammonia and stuff gets sunk to the bottom, ideally. And then the good water gets pushed out the top, right here. So, and then I got a little valve here that I can empty it. Over here is, well this is here is a makeshift screen. I had this lying around the house, so figured I'd use it. Inside is the fish tank. You notice there's some fish down in there. There's some goldfish, I just fed them. And here is the, the out from the fish tank. If you notice there's a little screen on here. Just to keep the fish from getting in and then getting into the squirrel filter. I don't know if you can see it real well, but it goes down. I got a PVC pipe going all the way down. There's a little hole at the bottom that kind of sucks up all the dirt and stuff off the bottom. Seems to be working pretty good. If you notice the swirl filter, this, is, this has been all the dry runs, and already it's sucked up quite a bit of stuff. So it seems to be working just right. Um, inside I got little PVC pipes for their, their little cubby holes so they can hide away in. Um, you see here, this is the the valve or spigot that empties the media bed. Inside I have river rock. Originally I was going to use granite or marble, which I have a lot of in my backyard, but I heard the marble and granite would boost the pH in the system. A lot of people say not to use marble or granite. Um, so I used river rock. I did the vinegar test on it and it didn't bubble so seems to be just fine inside if you notice there's the media guard keeps all the stuff from getting down in the bell siphon and if you notice I'll get it down in here oh, goodness. there's the bell siphon all right and this thing uh, fills up fills up just to about 
just not quite over the rocks, but just to about the layer of where the rocks are. I was thinking about adding more rocks, but it's pretty heavy. Um, I got two by fours here stabilizing it. Originally I was gonna get four by fours, but um, since I don't have a real a, a good saw, I was gonna have Lowe's cut them, but they couldn't cut four by fours. So I went with the two by fours and hope for the best. They seem to be working all right. They're not buckling. I've also got this solar panel hookup up on the roof, 60 watt. I'm not running it off solar right now, but have it just in case I need it. So in case the power went out or whatnot, I can still grow fish and food, hypothetically. <laughs> um, this right here is not supposed to be here, obviously. It's just temporary until I film this video and then I'll put it back to what it was. So yeah, hope you guys like it. This is my beginnings. I will eventually probably put some PVC pipes and run them um, kind of a gravity fed right down, all the way down that way and then back down here into the media bed, hopefully, and maybe grow some strawberries or lettuce or whatever. Um, I'll update you on what I'm growing and keep you up to date on what the progress is or if I have any issues. If you guys see anything you like or don't like, or have any recommendations or warnings, just let me know. And I greatly appreciate it.